Subscribe to get contents via mail. Purchase shorthand journals and more. PW10 was the investigating officer who deposed that on 19-6-2009 at about 4.50 p.m. wife of PW3 came to the police station and informed verbally that a fight had taken place between her husband and father-in-law and the brothers of her father-in-law. She also informed that her husband as well as her father-in-law and brother-in-law sustained grievous injuries. On the basis of the said information, he made GD entry number 317 dated 19-6-2009 and proceeded to the place of occurrence. He also proved the GD entry number 317 dated 19-6-2009 as Exhibit 7. According to him, upon arrival at the place of occurrence, he drew a sketch map of the place of occurrence, held inquest on the body of the deceased and examined the witnesses who were found available at the place of occurrence. He also stated to have found accused Mukhtar Rahman and others in injured state and sent them to hospital for treatment. Thereafter, a written ejahar was filed by Lutfur Rahman on 25, 2009, on the basis of which he registered the case he also stated to have seized some incriminating articles, viz. one stick made of bamboo, two broken pieces of bricks and five pieces of stones in presence of the witnesses. In the meantime, he was transferred and therefore handed over the case diary to his successor. He has stated during cross-examination that on 19-6-2009, one Sahina Begum also lost an Ejahar in connection with the same incident and a cross case was registered by PS number 35-2009 under section 447-325-34 IPC. He also proved the previous statement of PW7 and PW8 recorded under section 161 CRPC. The appellant also examined DW1 as defense witness. He deposed that there was long-standing dispute between both the parties and a village meeting was held on the day of occurrence at about 12 o'clock. However, the dispute could not be resolved in the village meeting as the elder brother of the deceased was reluctant to abide by the decision of the village meeting. According to him, he had no knowledge as to what had happened after the village meeting. Appreciating the above evidence brought on record, the learned trial court convicted the appellants under section 302 IPC. However, the learned trial court acquitted all the accused persons of the charge under section 147, 148, 447, 326 IPC. Assailing the impugned judgment, learned counsel for the appellant submitted that no charge under section 302 IPC was framed against the appellant and as such, conviction of the appellant under section 302 IPC was illegal and improper. Mr. Uddin further contended that though charge was framed under section 302 with the aid of section 34 IPC against five accused persons including the appellant.